after eight episodes of "It's Okay Not to Be Okay," the audience has somewhat been exposed to the past and the thoughts of the main characters. Particularly, Nam Juri, played by the actress Park Kyo Young, is being hated by many viewers for being two-faced and hypocritical, looking nice on the outside but actually very complicated inside. However, does Nam Juri really deserve that much hate? Juri and Moo Young, like dog and cat. In the first two episodes, Nam Juri appeared with a nice and even timid image. She was soon revealed to have had a childhood relationship with the female lead Moo Young, but was clearly not a pleasant friend. For a reason that hasn't been revealed yet, Juri both hates and fears Moo Young. And Moo Young herself, every time seeing Juri, she would show a mocking attitude and look down on her. This, of course, does not help improve the relationship between the two at all. Juri is shown to have a nice and gentle personality, completely opposite of Moon Young. She and the female lead seem to have unpleasant memories of each other. The peak detail that caused many people to turn to dislike Juri was the physical fight scene of the two female characters in episode five, when Juri slapped Moon Young first. However, it is fair to say that Moo Young was still the one who fired up the situation, calling Juri two-faced, then repeatedly claimed that Kang Tae was hers and scolded Juri for stealing him while none of the three was confirmed to be in a relationship. How many people could keep calm if you were insulted by someone you hate like that? Juri towards Kang Tae. What's wrong with pursuing love? Judy suggested the male lead Kang Tae to work at the OK Psychiatric Hospital as well as to rent her house as a residence. It is easy to see that she has been fond of Kang Tae for a long time and wants to come closer to him. A woman pursuing a man has become so common in movies and dramas, especially in this context where Kang Tae is single and Judy is not pushing anything but just silently helping him. There's nothing wrong about her having feelings for him. When being implicitly rejected, Judy, despite being sad, still tried to appear calm. Obviously, she still could not give up right away because her feelings for all this could not go away immediately. The bad luck of Judy is she is up against a powerful, attractive female lead that is much loved by the audience. So any action of her trying to get in the way of the main couple is extremely hated. However, according to what actress Park Yo Young herself shared in a press conference before the drama aired, Judy is a character who needs time to stabilize. Maybe she will keep this one-sided love for a while, but eventually there will be the day she let go and wish him happiness with his true love. So the love triangle of "It's okay not to be okay" is believed to be resolved in the end. Go Mu Young is like a spokesperson. Every line of her has become viral. She laughed at Kang Tae for being hypocritical because behind his strong, smiley look, doing everything because of his brother, are lots of repressed negative emotions. She said Judy is two-faced because Judy often acts soft and understanding on the outside, but actually filled with jealousy inside. Mu Young's lines not just have meaning within the scope of the drama, but pose as a blunt statement that we. Human beings are all hypocritical and two-faced, who often act differently from what we actually think. Honestly, aren't most of us sometimes also fake like Judy? When going to work or going out, we always have to put on a happy and comfortable attitude. Sometimes we make selfish decisions, then self-question our choices. Doesn't everyone want to show the person they like only the good sides of them? When seeing someone you like for a long time, like someone else, isn't it extremely uncomfortable? But none would be brave enough to express their true emotions. When watching the scene of Moon Young being strangled, did anyone think maybe she was related to her mother's dad? So she was strangled. The answer must be yes. Juri is simply the character chosen to voice that question of many people. So does she deserve to be hated? Some viewers suggested that maybe this character probably annoys people because some could see themselves in her. Judy is actually the most normal character among the leads who have so many problems, and it's okay not to be okay. Thus, she became less interesting to viewers. Hopefully, this character will have a breakthrough in the next episodes to restore the hearts of the audience as well as to warrant a complete ending of this healing drama. It's okay not to be okay. We'll continue to air every Saturday and Sunday on TVN and Netflix.